Alarm 8 and Alarm 9 are two errors that can occur on Gerbil-based lasers with limit switches. Although the errors are slightly different, they are both caused by an issue with the homing sequence. When Alarm 8 is displayed in your console, it means the machine failed to pull off one or both limit switches after homing. Alarm 9 means that the limit switches weren't triggered after the machine moved one and a half times the max travel distance. At this point, the machine stops moving in order to prevent accidental damage. Before it stops, you may see the laser travel to an edge or corner of its work area and hear it grind against the frame. Although the errors are slightly different, the process of diagnosing and correcting both issues is similar. Before doing anything, make sure that your machine has limit switches. You should see one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis. If it doesn't, you'll need to disable homing in your laser's firmware. Enter $22 equals zero in the console window to disable homing. Make sure to disable auto home on startup in your Lightburn device settings as well. If the issue persists, contact your laser's manufacturer to see if you need to reflash your machine's firmware. If you've verified that your machine has limit switches, make sure all your cables are fully seated. Whether you recently moved your machine or it happened to bump into an object during travel, a cable may have been unplugged or come loose. Be sure to check the connectors on the limit switches as well as the cables on the stepper motors. Next, look at the limit switch and check for any damage. This could come in the form of bent legs on the switch itself or an issue with the arm and switch mechanism. Although different machines can have different types of limit switches, the most common are mechanical switches. With this style of switch, when you press to engage it, you should feel and hear a click, and another one when you release the switch. Before attempting to swap out or repair a switch, contact your machine's manufacturer for a replacement. An issue with the laser's motion system is another possibility that would lead to a problem with homing. The typical culprits are belts that are too loose or too tight causing skipping, or a loose set screw on the pulley of the stepper motor. Adjust belt tension if needed, and use a small driver or allen key to ensure all set screws are snug. With the machine powered off, grab the tool head with your hand and manually move it around to make sure the travel is smooth. Also, move it over each limit switch, one at a time, to make sure there's nothing blocking it from being able to engage with them or back off once engaged. The last thing to verify is that the power supply is plugged in and functional. If you have multiple power supplies, make sure you're using the one that was included with your machine. A USB connection can sometimes be enough to power a laser's control board, allowing you to connect to it and send a homing command, but it won't provide the motors with enough power to operate and respond to the command. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on Mastering Lightburn.